So have you been in a place where, you know, you've, you're kind of stagnant, you know, you know you need to exercise, you, you know you need to eat right, and you just can't seem to get yourself to do it, or maybe you haven't found the proper opportunity to be able to do it. Well, I'm ready to introduce something to you here in a second uh, that maybe you'd like to join in and, hey, maybe it'll get you off of the couch, maybe it'll get you to you know, eat something that's healthy for you, you know, whatever place you may be in. Um, hopefully it'll be good for you. Hey, my name is Ed Logan. I'd like to welcome you to Fruit For Your Life. So I want to say welcome to all my lifers out there. Um, just today, I felt like I wanted to do something um, just a little bit different than I normally have done. So I have just created, you know, I love challenges. They're awesome. And, you know, I like to um, do things that are like a little different. So we just had the orange challenge about three weeks ago. Um, so next week we are going to be having the fruit and jump challenge, the fruit and jump challenge. And I know you may be saying, what in the heck is a fruit and jump challenge? Well, here recently, I've just developed uh, somewhat of a passion for these little things right here. And I tell you what. They are a super good workout. Jump ropes. Let me tell you, and I bought these really cheap uh, on Amazon. Okay, so next week, um, and the dates I believe we're going to do from May the 12th until May the 18th. So that's seven days. May the 12th to May the 18th, we are going to be eating fruit only. You're not limited to one type of fruit. You're not limited to fruit at all. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to even be more flexible than that. If you want to eat fruit or vegetables like salads and stuff like that during the week, totally fine. For those of you all who only want to do fruit, hey, more power to you. But for those of you who feel like you can't just do fruit, but you could do, you know, salads, leafy greens and stuff like that and be a part of it, hey, have your way at it. You know, it may be a, a night that I'm like with my family. And I'm like, hey, I want to have a salad tonight. But here is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be eating fruit and raw vegetables all week for those who can handle that. You know, you know me, I don't really push. Um, so if you can do fruit and raw vegetables all week long and we're going to jump rope. All right. So. The minimum of jump rope that we're going to do is starting out, we're going to do 200 a day. All right, so 200 a day isn't bad. You can break them up all through the day if you'd like. You can go out and do 50, you know, in the morning. You can do 50 in the afternoon, 50, you know, late afternoon, 50 in the evening, and then 50 at night. And see, you've already. You've already done. Actually, that, I did more than that, didn't I? <laughs> so anyway, you can break them up into 50s. You can break them up into 25s. Um, it doesn't matter. The important thing is, is that we are moving our bodies and we are eating foods that are healthy and nutritious. And I'm telling you, those of you all who do this, those of you all who stick with it, you're going to notice a difference in yourself by the end of the week. That's why we're going to do seven days. Um, I noticed my arthritis went away in seven days. I noticed that my blood pressure went down in seven days. Okay, so now I'm at the point for where I'm at, though. You know, now I do 500 um, jump ropes a day. I'm going to be working up to 1,000 a day. Hey, I'm horrible at jump roping, as you can probably see. I'm probably showing you some footage right now of me doing jump rope, and I'm, I'm horrible at it. Uh, but that's okay. You know, I found that the more I do it, the longer I can go. So I normally break mine up into about a hundred. Um, I'll go, I'll jump rope, I'll do a hundred of them. And then later on, I'll do another hundred and I'll, I'll do it that way. So I don't do it all at one time. But I would love to get to the place where I actually am at about 500 straight. So I'm not there. OK, many of us aren't there. If you haven't exercised in a long time, you won't be there. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with you. One year ago, a uh, year and a half ago, before I started eating the way that I did, I could not do it. I don't know if I could have done 10 jump rope. And there may be many of you who can't do that. Now, 
if you are at a place physically where you cannot physically jump rope, um, let's just say you're um, a little more elderly than I am and you really can't do that. Maybe you've had hip issues or something like that. We're going to I'm going to show you a different way to do jump ropes. OK, so I'm going to come back again on uh, probably on Friday and do another video and I'm going to show you. And all we're going to do is if you're if you're um, you can't do it and your body won't allow you to do regular jump ropes. All we're going to do is we're going to just act like we're jump roping and we're going to lift each leg, put lift leg, put leg down, lift the other leg, put the other leg down. So it's almost like you're jump roping without a rope, but you're not jumping up and having to have the impact on your on your knees or your ankles or whatever that may be. Also, if you cannot do that, but you can sit in a chair, then we're going to jump rope with our arms okay this is for everybody if you're young hey you can do the jump roping you know if you're not so young you may have to take your time and do your jump rope um, if you're if you're older um, and you just can't do that kind of thing then what we're gonna do is again we're just gonna act like there's a jump rope and we're gonna alternate each leg lifting it up and down and if you can't if you're immobile then we're gonna have you just sit in the chair and you're just gonna act like you're jump roping okay so everybody can participate if I quit hitting this microphone everybody can participate in this okay um, my hope and my goal one day is that I can make this really big um, and where we actually will all get together everybody who wants to participate we're actually gonna have well I'm not gonna tell you all that I just want to see how this time is going to go. If there's enough interest, we'll make it, we'll, we'll turn this into something really big, you guys. Uh, but if not, you know, hey, at least it'll help people get themselves in shape. You're going to eat fruit and vegetables all week long. Um, your body is going to be changing through that seven days, okay? So you're not just being limited to only fruit. I know that's hard for people. Um, so you can do vegetables with it as well like salads and stuff like that so hey uh please join me again it's going to be from may the 12th through may the 18th that's next week for those of you all who are watching it before then um so we're going to do it during that time um there is no registration for this one we're just going to get together and do it uh if you would like to let me know that you are doing it I would love to know who all is doing it. If you can email me at fruit, the number four, your life at gmail.com. Hey, shoot me an email and let me know that you are going to participate in it. That way I know who's with me. And, um, you know, I'm probably going to do I'm probably going to record every day so that you know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm probably going to record me doing my jump rope every day so that you can see that I'm actually doing it, just like you saw on the screen a while ago, all right? Hey, hey, I'm so hoping that some of you choose to do this. I know there's other challenges going on in different groups, and hey, that's awesome, but if you don't have anything to do, this is something that can be very light for those who need for it to be light, and for some of you who are gonna want to do more than 200, like I'm gonna do 500 a day, um, so that's what I'm gonna do, but the minimum is 200 a day, if you can't jump rope, you can stand up, act like you're jump rope, lift your leg. If you're that, if you're immobile, you can stand. You can sit in your seat, and turn your arms like you're doing a jump rope. Just as long as we're doing something active, okay? Hey, I hope that you all join in with this, and we can make this a big thing where we get to do this all the time. We can have Zoom, a big Zoom thing where we're all doing it together. So, hey, I have great hopes and great expectations. Hopefully you join me. I'll see you later.